Hey YouTube, Pedro the Broke Prepper here with another YouTube video. Uh, today's video, I wanted to do it on my car tool bag or toolbox, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, this is just pretty much the toolbox that I have dedicated to being in my car just for everyday emergencies, whether I'm on the side of the road or I come across somebody else who's stranded on the side of the road or I go to somebody's house who just doesn't have very many tools um and in all honesty a tool bag is a, pretty much going to be a really awesome thing to have in an shtf situation where you're out and something unfolds or something happens like a mob a riot something like that and you kind of have to get your get home bag and go well the tool bag is like an extension of that it's an extra thing to have on you that if it makes sense to grab it and take that with you as well, then you have it. Um, but without kind of rambling on too much, I'm going to kind of get started on the bag. And I'm going to start with the actual bag itself. This is a Voyager bag that I bought from Harbor Freight and Tool. I think I bought it for like about $3. Um, and it's a pretty good bag in all honesty. It feels like it's made out of canvas. It's pretty durable. I've had this bag for about, I want to say, six months now. I have used it a little bit, and the only things that I see with it are kind of things you'd expect with the cheap bag. It's just a little bit of fraying, but nothing major. It doesn't feel like it's going to be coming apart anytime soon. And it does feel like it's made out of canvas, and the straps feel like nylon straps. It's a pretty decent bag, I like it, um, especially for that price. And now if we go to the front pocket, start with this right here. This is just a backup knife, just in case I forget my, like my EDC or just forget to have one on me or just to have an extra utility knife. This is my Kershaw, I forget the exact name of it. It's the one that they were selling at a Walmart. <laughs> But it is an awesome knife. I really do like it. Um, it's just a good backup knife to have if I forget my knife at home. Next, what I have in here is going to be some tire punches. These, um, these to me are lifesavers. These are really awesome to have just in case you get like a nail in your wheel or something and you don't want to, you know, drive on a, t on a spare or... You know, you just don't have the money to buy or to have somebody fix your tire. You know, these are awesome for you to do yourself. And if you don't know how to use the tire punch, I strongly recommend that you learn. I might actually do a video on this. It'll probably be like a very short video. They're not hard to use at all. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a, ba a good lifesaver uh, to have in your tool bag. Now going to the main part, the first thing that I have on top of everything is going to be two ice scrapers. I literally bought these a dollar each and the reason I have these in here is not so much for me because I have a, I have my ice scraper that I like a lot and it's pretty durable and rugged. This is more for other people. Like, I can't tell you how many times somebody at my job has been like, I forgot my ice scraper at home, it's been snowing all day, and now they need to chip ice away. And lo and behold, guess who comes and saves the day with an extra ice pick, or ice scraper. So, not so much for me, more so for other people, because obviously when you prep, you should have yourself in mind, but it wouldn't be hurtful to maybe have some other people in mind as well, like neighbors, co-workers, family members, things like that. So that shouldn't just be limited to your house prep. That should also be extended to like your car prep as well. So next what I'm gonna take out is, this is just pretty much a window smasher and strap cutter. I do have this in my tool bag, not really for my safety, but for other people 
um, for instance, I have been in this situation where it, <coughs> when I was a landscaper in Miami, when I was a, uh, driving bucket trucks, I witnessed a pretty intense accident and um, I stopped along with a couple other um, kind of driver buyers. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> but um, you know, we kind of stopped and we helped this lady who had a pretty bad cut. And obviously me being a landscaper, I had a first aid kit in my truck and we kind of used that to, as like we used the gauze so that she could put it on her head while the ambulance got there to help. So, in all honesty, I didn't have to cut her out of our car. She kind of got out by herself. But just in case if it was a situation, this would be something pretty nifty or not nifty, but pretty good to have. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the next I have is, um, this is a kit for the tire punches. This is to open the hole in your tire a little bit more so that you can feed the punch through here and kind of put the punch in the tire. So that's kind of a quick overview on that. Next, I'm gonna go over my tire iron. I really like this tire iron and I've been kind of wanting one for a long time and I actually bought this one from Harbor Freight and Tool, yeah. I have another one of these that I bought from uh, Home Depot, but that's in my tool shed. This is my car one. So I did buy this one from Harbor Freight, it was $11. It is pretty sturdy. I haven't had the chance to use it yet. <laughs> and in all honesty, I don't, you don't want to use these tools because that means something arose or arise where you had to use it. But I'm kind of just waiting for one of my tires to pop <laughs> so I can use it. So yeah, this feels awesome in all honesty. Um, for $11, I would definitely recommend this to a friend. And obviously a tire iron. You can't really have a car kit without one. So I would say that's probably one of the more important ones to have in your tool bag. Next up, I just have a very small hammer. It's a little ball peen hammer that I have for hitting ice out of my mud flaps and my that area in between your tire and your car so ice does tend to pack there if you live in a snowy area you definitely know what i mean and you don't want to have that there while you're driving for too long just because it can be bad for your tires so i have a hammer in my car just for that um Next up, I have a screwdriver. Just a screwdriver. Uh, it's good for screwdriving stuff. So, screwdriver. Um, and something else to keep in mind, especially since you don't want your tool bag for your car to be bulky, like your house bag or your house toolbox, because this is something that you don't want taking up a whole lot of space because space in your car is obviously necessary for if you're traveling with groceries or you're buying some stuff you don't want this to impact your space too much so with that being said you definitely want to buy tools that are like multi-use so this is just a Craftman wrench that I've had forever. I use this thing on a lot of, lot of things on lawn mowers, trucks, cars, my car, bikes. I've used this a lot. And as you can see from all the wear and tear, it's, it's definitely, I've definitely got my money's worth. I believe I spent $20 on this. I don't even know if Craftman makes this anymore. I bought this a couple years ago. But I really do like this, and if you ever do see one, definitely an awesome buy. I honestly recommend this, and I just 
in all honesty, I love it. I've actually used this thing to hammer stuff. I've beat the hell out of it. So, yep. And this is another one that I've gotten a little bit of use out of it. More so, um, kind of use this more just to get like sizes of bolts and stuff. But this is a pretty cool, another ratchet. Not a ratchet, but like a wrench to have. It's multi-use. I got this at Harbor Freight, I think for $5. It's not a bad buy. I just kind of saw it. Thought it'd be cool to throw in here and not take a whole whole lot of space so I have that in there and then I also have just a little tiny can of WD-40 um, people say it's not good to use on car parts or things like that but like a squeaky door or for a quick fix or to kind of spray down a, how would you say a spindle or something this would be obviously pretty good to have in the moment um, so yeah, definitely some WD-40. I have a bunch of my car, my wife's car, my house. I have WD-40 up the wazoo. So <laughs> definitely recommend having WD-40 with you. And then last but not least, just some channel locking pliers. For obvious reasons, channel locking pliers are to get to those bolts that are too big for me to get or kind of like it's a backup oil wrench, something like that. Um, just a lot of use that I can get out of channel locking pliers. That's pretty much all I have in here. It's just kind of some pretty basic things and some not so basic things. It's obviously changing and growing. I, you know, I didn't, it's obviously not complete. I still have a couple things that I want to put in here, but it's growing. So with that being said, I don't want you to think that you have to go out and buy a whole toolkit or a whole tool bag right there on the spot to be able to have it. It's kind of something that you, you know, start off with buying like a tire iron and maybe a wrench or two and kind of put that in a grocery bag in your car and then you buy an actual bag and then you kind of just build more tools and more tools. Um, so like always, don't forget to comment if you have any, um, how would you say recommendations or advice? It's always appreciated. Remember guys, this channel isn't for me to teach you as much as it is for me to learn and us to kind of get a dialogue within each other. And I know I haven't been posting and I know I say this every video, um, that's why I'm not going to promise that I'm going to post more often. I'm just going to make more of an effort. <laughs> so have fun, be safe, and don't forget, don't ever not be prepared, guys. Have a good one, YouTube.